just got the 4th of July mystery box and we'll see what's inside. I know from the last video that last time I did mystery box you guys wanted me to get to the box a lot quicker so I'm gonna do it this time and judging by the size of this I am pretty sure it's gonna be the the 9 millimeter um, King Arms and the Desert Eagle and also in this box is also a couple other things um, that I bought with it so I'll show you. Let's go to opening. And be terrible at it. Yep, it's the Deagle. Yep. I'll cut that out then. So, yep, it is the Deagle. See a lot about a lower face mask. A, another magazine for the pistol I got last time. And, uh, ooh, ooh, that's actually really good. I was hoping for this too. So this came in the mystery box. So this is the uh, also the um, thing I ordered. But actually, this is actually exactly what I wanted for the spare items. If I remember correctly. So I get the American flag patch, which is nice. Get the uh, box of awesomeness patch. And this, I believe, is the grenade. Which is one of the things you could win. That's awesome. That's really cool. So yeah, this is a little... It's like a simple grenade that uses just a spring and it throws BBs everywhere. So that's really nice. I was hoping for this. So... Just make it feel any better? Yep. And then we are going to go over the Deagle first. I'm going to move the box over, and we're going to go over the Deagle. So it's a silver one. Ooh. Oh, that is heavy as hell. That is nice. This thing is huge. I don't know how much this can show up on camera, but this thing is massive. So this thing can actually shoot full auto, which is ridiculous. That is really cool. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. Let me just let the trigger down. Definitely going to keep that. And then time to go for the King Arms. Wait, is this upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. Alright, that would be better. So this is the long version of this. Actually, is really nice. It's crazy t orange tip on it, but... Let me just complete the look here. Yeah, that is actually really cool. What else you get in here? Oh yeah, that's the other grip panel. So you can change out the grips. The back of the grip. To something else that's more comfortable. Yeah, it's got some heft to it. The, um... I read reviews that the rail is sometimes can get loose. But this rail feels a lot better than what most people have been saying. And I actually do like the length of this. Because a lot of times they're... You can get the really small ones, but I like this more of a longer length. And um, let's go over sights. The sights are actually plastic, but that's actually not bad sights. Yeah, they're not bad sights at all. Selector slitch is very satisfying. Very firm. 
yeah, I am actually quite happy what I got here. I'd like to take this time to go over my impressions of these guns after I've been handling them for a couple days now. So what do I think about the King Arms SBR long version? Well, I would have to say the build quality of this is pretty good. It's all polymer pretty much. There's just um, some components that are metal on this. The orange tip on this is terrible um, looking, to, in my opinion, of course. Um, there's also amplifier, so this is really loud. The magazine is plastic. This is a 100 round mint cap MP5 magazine. And I read up online that this is pretty much compatible with most MP5 magazines. Um, and I'm hearing a lot of issues with high caps. It has a pretty responsive trigger. I really enjoy the swappable grips. I really enjoy the battery compartment in this gun. It is massive. I can almost fit a nunchuck battery in there. If I really cram the wires, I can fit a nunchuck battery. Do I think it's worth the $180 price tag for the long version? It's kind of a yes and no for me because yes, I mean everything is there and the quality is there. Um, however, you could get something full metal, a regular M4, $40 more, $20 more. But if you want a unique looking gun like this um, and you don't mind the polymer, because I don't mind the polymer myself. If any of that seems appealing for you, then I would say it's definitely worth buying. And now for the KWC Desert Eagle. If you want a Desert Eagle, this is perfect for you. This gun has a very hard kick. It's very enjoyable to shoot. One major problem about this gun is it goes through CO2 cartridges like no tomorrow. It is a massive gas hog. I also realize this gun doesn't have any lubrication at all out of the box. So definitely the first thing you got to do is take it apart and lube it up because it needs it. I am definitely keeping this gun. It really makes you feel like a badass when you hold it up and fire it. So it's amazing. Trust me. I really believe the 6mm Pro Shop grenade is worth it. The quality of the grenade is fantastic for $20. Here's a bunch of exploding videos for your pleasure. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.